check this out. In one of my recent videos, I was talking about this strange reddish aurora band that formed in my time lapse. Look at this right now. This is just insane. After I uploaded that video, I really started to think about what I had captured that night. It looked like aurora, but didn't move like it. In fact, it didn't seem to move very much at all in my time lapse shots. It's just a solid red band that stretches overhead from east to west in the sky. It's really impressive and I've been mesmerized by it every time I've seen it. After a quick Google search, I found this article from back in November of 2021. It turns out that the red aurora I had captured here in southwest Idaho wasn't actually aurora. The SAR arc phenomenon, or stable auroral red arc, happens during strong geomagnetic storms, like the one we had back on the night of October 10th into the morning hours of the 11th. Auroras appear when charged particles from the sun hit the Earth's atmosphere, causing it to glow at the poles. SAR arcs actually form differently. They are a sign of heat energy leaking into the upper atmosphere from Earth's ring current system. Now, you're probably thinking, what the fuck is Earth's ring current system? I had never heard of it either. Essentially, we have an electrical current carried by energetic ions that encircles our planet. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to read either of these articles. As I mentioned before, this wasn't the first time I had seen a SAR arc. I've actually captured it several times this year during the stronger displays of the Northern Lights. Oh my gosh! Yeah, red, red band is crazy. Like, look at that right there. That's west. It's due west. This is such a cool phenomenon, and I feel extremely blessed to have witnessed this and documented it several times recently. I can't wait to see it again in the near future, and I'm sure we will as we reach the solar maximum. As always, thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next one.